The Chinese don't want to declare war. They just want to conduct the financial elements of war and getting rid of and supplanting the dollar. That, that's what this is all about, Elijah. It's, let's get, get rid of the dollar. Let's replace it with something more healthy. This video is brought to you by Reluctant Preppers. Click here to subscribe for free to ReluctantPreppers.com. And speaking of that, you know, about China and Russia, you know, dumping U.S. Treasury bonds, I know you've mentioned in a different interview that it seems like the Federal Reserve to kind of offset Russia's dumping of U.S. Treasury bonds, correct me if I'm wrong about this, but the Federal Reserve is kind of laundering money through Belgium. Did you want to explain a little bit about that? I think that's the knee-jerk conclusion. And I, I think it's, it's valid. The Russians don't want to declare war. They don't want to say, all right, you do a sanction, sanction against us and against some of our rich people and their accounts in London and Switzerland. You, you want to block VTB and, and you want to block certain other companies? Well, fine. We're going we're gonna to sell $40 billion of treasury bonds. Screw you. And we're going to do it before March 1st. No, they didn't talk that way. Instead, they found a hidden proxy and found a way to dump it onto the Euroclear system in Belgium. And it sits now as a giant bulge. By the way, there's a, another uh, clearing, clearinghouse function. It's not in Belgium, it's in Germany. It's called Clearstream. So they're probably dumping Russian-held treasury bonds in Germany also. But I think, I think Belgium has got a different purpose. Uh, I've been told, pardon me, I've been told that, uh, that various pigs nations, you know, Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece, Spain, they're starting to notice various strict rules for movement, uh, funds movement, asset movement. Um, and it's part of Basel III, the Basel III. Basel III is a, a set of rules and regulations by the global banking dictatorship in Switzerland. I don't use those terms lightly. I mean that precisely as I said. So the pigs nations have a bunch of treasury bonds and they realize, you know, we might not be able to move these out of our own borders. So let's, let's put them in that nice safe reserve account in Belgium, in the Euroclear. So it's not just R Russians dumping, it's the pigs nations of Western Europe moving treasury bonds into a safer international location <coughs> pardon me where it could be used later and moved around more later we've also got a strong possibility same type of motive as russian dumping the saudis might be dumping their treasury bonds they've been supporting this system for a long time since 1973 4 and 5 when the petrodollar was first negotiated with henry kissinger they talked about the the petro surplus recycle what are the Arabs going to do with all their surplus oil revenue? The profits, well, recycle it back into Wall Street stocks, Wall Street bank stocks, f f uh, recycle them into treasury bonds. Okay, well, now Saudi Arabia, the dirty secret in Saudi Arabia in their oil business is most of their uh, oil fields are, are pretty much dry in Gawar, their giant oil field. They're producing somewhere between 90 and 93% water, not oil. So 7 to 10% oil. They pump water down in order to keep the pressure so they can pump oil up, except less than 10% of it is oil. All right, well, that's not sufficient to support the gold, I'm sorry, to support the petrodollar standard. So the Saudis <clears throat> are no longer useful. There's a phrase, a nasty phrase called the cutouts. So what do the British and the Americans do in the 50s? Well, we make some Saudi monarch cutouts. They're, they're not really important in and of themselves. They're important as entities to serve the British and the American interests. Well, they serve their purpose. And now you got some big conflicts over the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and every other stinking Arab nation, because Al-Qaeda is Langley. Al-Qaeda is spelled A-L hyphen C-I-A hyphen D-A. Al-Qaeda is run by Langley. 
And it's about time Americans wake the hell up. The terrorism is starting from Langley. You need to wake up. So you got this feud going on between the United States and Saudi Arabia over the usage of terrorism by Langley through the US military and CIA, used in Syria, used in Ukraine. And I don't even want to get into Ukraine. Ukraine is just a huge, ugly, ugly story with many sides. But the Saudis are in conflict, and there's been a divorce. In March, there was a head of state meeting. Obama was summoned by King Abdullah in Saudi Arabia, in the capital of Riyadh, summoned for a meeting. It lasted 20 minutes. They basically told the U.S., screw you, we're tired of your sick, we're sick and tired of your games, and probably told them, we don't like how you're stealing our gold in London and Switzerland. So there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes, and some of it has to do with Saudi Arabian gold being stolen. India has motive for also dumping treasury bonds, and I think Iran would love to help that process of dumping treasury bonds. Okay, another factor, the Belgian bulge, and this is where it gets a little less clear, but I think still quite credible. I think the BRICS, those BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, are trying to source their gold central bank. And if you look at the meteoric rise of the Belgian bulge in treasury bonds, you'll see that in the last six months, it's gone from not nothing, but you know, something like 30, 40, 60 billion, up to 400 billion. I did some calculations. 400 billion is enough to source 1,000 tons of gold. But that's not how the futures market works. The futures market works with leverage. The leverage is something like 25 to 1. So, I mean, I, just, just as a far out, upper limit, crazy figure to put out there, if the 400 billion were fully leveraged in gold sourcing, it could source the purchase of 25,000 tons of gold. I don't think that's the case. I think it's at least 1,000 tons and probably something like three, four, or 5,000 tons. So these BRICS nations are sourcing from several different places in the world to create a BRICS central bank of gold to manage the gold trade notes and the Eurasian trade zone and a whole lot more, linking the Forex with the commodity markets. They're, they've got a whole lot of different sources, and one of them is the London New York Futures Contract Complex, the arena, the futures arena. And I believe they've got a margin call. It doesn't mean they're going to lose their position and get liquidated. It means they're going to post more collateral. And that's precisely what they've done in the last two or three months in Belgium. Notice that it went up something like $40 billion in just the last reported month, the Belgian bulge. So, you know, there, there are a lot of other things going on, but I believe that the BRICS Development Bank is a sneaky way of developing their gold central bank. Here's my little, it's not so much a joke, but, but you know, you can't help but laugh when you hear it. <clears throat> the development fund for the BRICS has now $100 billion committed. And they're, they're trying to get the second hundred to make it 200 billion. <clears throat> All right, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And, and what are their projects that they talk about? Well, I first heard about the Tanzan Tanzanian Railroad. That was two or three months ago. Now you hear about the Nigerian Railroad, the Coastal Railroad connecting all across the, the Atlantic Ocean, all along their coastline. Now you're hearing about the Kenyan Railroad to connect the, uh, the, the Indian Ocean port with the capital of Nairobi and going inland. And that railroad's going to carry, I guarantee you, a lot of iron ore, copper ore, and other metal ore. All right, so you've got these three projects that are going to be funded by the BRICS Development Fund, <laughs> $100 billion. Well, here's the joke. Well, once those three railroads are all completed and they've spent the six or seven billion dollars, what about the other 94 or 93, 93 billion dollars in the development fund? That's what's going to be converted to gold bullion. They cannot spend this money fast enough with hard assets and infrastructure projects. 
So a massive conversion is going to be taking place behind the scenes using the development fund. And now I've noticed in the last three months, what I heard about last summer in 2013 about the BRICS development fund, it later was called the BRICS development bank. And then I heard it called the BRICS bank. But why do they keep changing the name? I think because they're changing the function in its reality. So we got a signal of event acceleration here with the Belgian bulge. And I think they're also hiding some of uh, the Yellen Fed uh, purchases. They're not doing any tapering. They're just lying. They're lying a lot better. They're trying to lie really, really well. Like, yeah, that's the purpose. I mean, let's, let's talk about taper. Let's lie better. Let's develop better channels. Let's use Euroclear with the Draghi Central Bank in Europe. Let, let's, let's lie better. And just to make the point, I think their purpose is to lie better. So to end here, would you like to kind of give us a rundown on what do you see America's role has been? And I mean, how, how with all we've been discussing today, how does this change America's role in the world? I think the United States became a hidden fascist nation when Kennedy was assassinated. I think it was not the Russians, not the Soviets. That's the bull. That's the bull crap story. I think that was done by the fascists. And notice that Richard Nixon was resurrected shortly afterwards. I think it was part of the deal. Kill Kennedy, resurrect Nixon on condition. Two big conditions that Nixon had to come through on. Put Kissinger in as Secretary of State. I don't care where he came from, Columbia University. I don't care what he wrote. I care who, who he was paid by. And it was the Rockefeller oil family. The second important condition for Nixon was to get rid of the gold standard. And who engineered its replacement, the petrodollar standard, which is kind of like an oil standard, oil backing for the dollar. Not really, it's quasi, but it was Kissinger. Kissinger went to the Saudis and really set it all up. In fact, I'm hearing that Kissinger suggested that they increase the price of oil. That way the, the royals could be richer and the royals could buy more U.S. weapons and help the U.S. economy. So they sold out the U.S. economy, forced price inflation on condition <clears throat> that they buy up a lot of treasury bonds, install the Petro standard, and buy more weapons from the United States military contractors. So part of the fascist state is building up the fascist military complex. And notice in the 70s is when the real big ugly controversies took place about the U.S. support for every fascist regime in South America. So a, a lot of events took place, but you know, fast forward and you get 9-11, which I call the fascist coming out party. And you have the Patriot Act, which I call the fascist Gestapo manifesto. So what role has the United States taken on in the last decade? I think it's the leading nation of the axis of fascism. We've torn up the Constitution. I really wonder, these Supreme Court justices, do, why, why do they cite the Constitution if the Patriot Act rescinded it? If we have the Transportation Safety Administration and all Homeland Security uh, using the, the adopted rules from the Patriot Act and the CIA sta stealing gold, jewelry, and coins out of safety, de boxes, safety deposit boxes and banks, why? Does the Supreme Court cite legal precedent off the Constitution? It doesn't make any sense. It's a fascist nation, fascist system now. Uh, they, they went after Occupy Wall Street as a terrorist organization. And you, you got a lot of ugly things that I won't go into. But sadly, most Americans don't even know what fascism is. I've asked the question before I moved to Costa Rica. I asked a lot of different friends and people that I met. I asked 40 people, what is fascism? I heard all kinds of wrong answers. And I heard about two correct answers out of 40 people that I sampled. The correct answer is a corrupt merger of giant corporations and banks with your government. A suspension of rule of law to cover through impunity all the legal aspect, illegal aspect, criminal aspects of the syndicate that has taken control of the government, that fascist syndicate, 
like a cancer. <clears throat> All right, now you've got the fascism becoming a little more evident because in Ukraine, they actually called themselves fascists. The U.S. supported group doing the coup d'etat called themselves fascists. So uh, the U.S. is on the wrong side, I'm sorry to say, of most everything that's positive, honest, and constructive. We're not in service, but we're rather, you know, in treason in our leadership posts. Uh, you look closely at, at most of the American leaders and you see selling out the U.S. like most favored nation status given in 1999 to China. What was behind that? Well, we moved industry to China with foreign direct investment, but China leased us their gold, some of their Mao Zedong era gold, and that helped Wall Street to continue the gold game suppression a little bit more, and the dollar regime a little bit more. China helped the United States through Wall Street leadership to keep the dollar going another three or four or five years. But there was a sellout of American businesses and American workers. The jobs went to Asia. Okay. We're not the pacifist nation anymore. Countries don't see the United States moving in and saying, oh, great, we're finally going to get some peace. No, they get control. They get war. We're not the devoted element behind truth. When was the last time you heard any honest press reporting about Ukraine, honest press reporting about Syria, honest press reporting about the U.S. economy, honest press reporting about the Federal Reserve and their zero interest rate and their QE, unsterilized bond monetization, which they call stimulus. It's not stimulus. It's killing the economy. It's killing capital from a higher cost structure and vanishing profit lines. The United States is not the builders anymore. We don't come into nations and build their factories and their railroads and their port facilities. China does. We come in there as destroyers with war. And we figure, well, well, you got to have some constructive destruction. <laughs> yeah, right. Constructive destruction. Right, right, right. That's like, uh, you know, screwing for virginity. These guys are just full of crap. They're full of lies or full of propaganda. We figure that we can destroy the nation so we can properly build it up. Oh, right, right. That'll be good for the economy. No, we're not the givers anymore. We're the takers. We take Libyan gold. We take Syrian gold. We take Sir uh, Saudi gold. We take your home equity, and we do it through bond fraud. <clears throat> We're not devoted to health. Instead, we've got vaccines that deliver viruses. We, we don't properly treat cancer like, say, Colombia does, the leading nation in cancer treatment. They treat it as your met metabolic system gone haywire in a local sense. So they slow the metabolic system locally. And they get rid of the cancer by slowing its growth process that's gone out of control. The United States doesn't do that. We have death process and hospice treatment through drugs. It costs thousands. The United States is not about health. It's about corn syrup and obesity. It's about vaccines that kill people, like the 35,000 people in the South that died from the, the what do you call it, the, the swine flu vaccine. I got a story here in Costa Rica. A gal I know has about 13 cousins. I told their mothers. I rounded them all up. I said, do not take the swine flu vaccine suggested by your school officials. Don't take the swine flu vaccine that the Americans suggest. Well, amazingly, out of about 15 of the cousins, 14 did not take it. And they're all fine. They're all healthy. The one of them in San Ramon, about 50 miles away, they just didn't get word out. They got a little girl. She's in her, I think, like 10 or 11 years old. And she has two years now of a mysterious brain disease. It's called the Barre-Goulain syndrome. It's what the swine flu delivered. The United States is not devoted to trade. We're devoted to military bases. You saw that in the Obama Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's all he came back with, the Philippine military base. We're not devoted to seeding the system. We're devoted to genetically modified Monsanto seeds. We're devoted to bombs for constructive destruction. Now, we're on the wrong side here, and uh, it's up to the American people to sweep out the cancerous leadership 
Uh, I'm not sure the Pentagon has the stones to do it because there's too much narco money going around, too many military purges. Uh, Clinton started the purge of the generals in the Pentagon. Bush continued it. Obama's accelerating it. We've got all kinds of betrayals going on to the American people. And the generals who are trying to protect the people of the United States are being forced into retirement. We're not on the right side here. The United States is not on the right side. We're not the good guys anymore. We're, we're the thieves and the, the crime syndicate. It's like the, it's like the Italian mafia is taking control of the U.S. government, except it's not the Italians. It's the Wall Street bankers and their crime syndicate. And, and their common root is the Federal Reserve. And do you mention that it's basically the American people's choice? I mean, do you see that this can actually be turned around or should we just, I mean, I hate to say it, but I mean, should we just admit defeat and prepare for collapse or can we actually turn this around? Admit defeat and prepare for collapse. Protect your life savings because a black hole has already begun. H how did the home equity work out? <clears throat> okay. How's your job security working out? How's your pension fund now with Obama and the State of the Union announcing he's going to pursue private pensions? No, you, you've got a full-fledged, multi-sided attack on your personal wealth and your liberties involved. There's no turning it around. Uh, you, you can't, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to have a petition and a referendum that Congress dissolve? What are you going to do? You're going to have a march on Washington and and force the entire cabinet to resign, starting with Holden? What are you going to do? March on Langley and say, we want you out of the narcotics business? They'll shoot you dead. So prepare for the collapse. I know in our last interview, we discussed a little bit about ways to prepare, and I'll put a link in the description of this video to that interview. But Jim Willie, thank you so much for joining us today. I wish we could have left maybe on a little brighter note, but before we let you go, did you want to share with the viewers any last thoughts you'd like to add and where they can find you on the internet? Yeah, I'm sorry to uh, issue such a, a sad, somber message at the end, but, but really take a look at the trend that we're going on. We're having a new war zone attempted every few months. We're having the talk of nuclear proliferation every few months. These people do not want to go in quietly into the night. Nazis don't ever quit. They just up the ante and increase the force. I don't have anything more to add except, you know, get out of the paper system, sell your stocks, get out of your paper system and in your pensions, pay the tax on them. Who gives a crap if you pay 40% tax on IRA or 401k? Who cares? It's not going to be confiscated after you take it out. Post tax. Take it out. Buy gold and silver. Store it in vaults outside the United States, outside any country that speaks English. And, and add Switzerland to that. Don't store it in the United States, England, Switzerland, or Canada. Best is to store it in Hong Kong. Um, for the time being, they'll still accept your, your accounts. But you've got to take protection or else you're going to find yourself, as Thomas Jefferson warned, waking up in a nation where your bankers own all your property. And, th and that's, where we, that's where we're heading. You, you've now got Wall Street firms uh, with their hedge funds, private equity firms, buying up 100 properties at a time in American cities. Okay, Americans got foreclosed. Now Wall Street's buying up 100 at a time. We're losing our country. So prepare with gold and silver. And if you've got a J.P. Morgan account, Bank of America account, or, or a Citigroup account, what are you doing? Get rid of it. You're only putting your deposit or your weekly paycheck into the cabal syndicate, supporting their evil criminal structures. What are you doing? If you've got a big bank account, big CDs, get rid of them. Buy gold and silver. You got a big stock account. Get rid of it. What is wrong with you? You want to participate in this, this Department of Treasury Fed stock rally? This QE Fed stock rally? Get out. Sell at the top here. This is absurd. 90% of all trading volume 
in the New York Stock Exchange is between Wall Street firms on their computers. What are you doing? This is very late stage. Get out of the paper system. Buy gold and silver. You can find a lot of free information, articles, and radio interviews like this on www.goldenjackass.com. I know it's a funny name, but it's what my mother used to call me. Get down, get down stairs here, you jackass. You know, leave that cookie dough alone. Those, those, are, those are for dessert, you jackass. You know, so I started calling myself the golden jackass. It's kind of a zippy moniker. But, uh, you know, if you're new to this, read some of the, come up to speed a bit, read, read some of the public articles. They're, they're very theme-oriented. Each article has one theme. <clears throat> listen to some of the interviews to get a broad swath. And, and just sit back and relax and listen. I think they're very educational. I think I put a lot of time and effort into these. I prepared for this interview with uh, an hour of developing notes. This is not off the on the fly, off the top of my head. But after you come to speed and have more interest and you want to learn much more about what's going on, sign up for the Hattrick Letter. It's my paid subscription newsletter. There are two reports come out, coming out each month. One is the Money War Report. That's for high-level issues, and the other one is the Golden Currency Report, which is for ground-level issues. And I try to cover a lot, and I think I do a decent job. And kind of some proof in the pudding is that many of my competitors are gone. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, they had assumptions like the system would correct itself. <clears throat> they had assumptions like U.S. goes to war only to rid out evil. No, no, we're the bad side. We're spreading evil. Uh, they have assumptions like, oh, uh, you know, all the mining stocks would uh, be leveraged to the gold price, but it'll all go to the moon. No, I said in 2008, the mining stocks were a very bad investment because you're going to get continued suppression of the gold price because you're going to have continued very generous, excessive uh, stock option packages to the executives because you're going to have a lot of stress at the foreign jurisdiction mining site like peru like bolivia like whatever south africa south africa shut down the entire platinum industry uh, in their country for a solid month you know these countries are, are having trouble so they're going to confiscate that's not good for an investor and why would i want to be an investor of anything that's leveraged to a suppressed price so my investment is going to be suppressed downward with leverage. No, that's why you have a record number of stocks that are down in the mining sector, 90%. That's why you have a record number of uh, Canadian junior stocks that are selling for one penny or less. No, buy gold and silver, bars and coins, even slugs, which are one ounce, one ounce coins that might say sprout on them and you know later could be sold and, and made into actual coins by, uh, you know, a process. But, uh, you know, sign up for the Hattrick Letter. Get going with this or continue on your, your path that you're already on. I provide a lot of analysis, a lot of forecasts. I've got uh, almost 90% correct forecast rate for very important forecasts that, that uh, I think are, you know, game changers, uh, you know, change the entire table and its arrangement for the geopolitical stage. Uh, got a lot of forecasts out right now regarding Russia and China and the turning of, of the swing states, as I call them, Germany, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and uh, Ukraine. Ukraine's gonna turn east. It's not gonna be captured by the West. It's, it's gonna just sink, be charred ruins, and then join Russia. That's what we do. We rape and pillage. We stole the Ukraine Central Bank in the middle of the night. The Langley boys with hooded masks stole 33 tons of Kiev Central Bank. It's not in the news. And we're not the good guys. So prepare for the collapse that's well along. And the collapse will be marked. You'll, you'll notice a lot of talk about potentially a new dollar for the United States. That's your warning of a real serious turn of events coming. coming. And it's going to be, I think, unleashing price inflation, supply disruptions, and violence at three main places, gas station, food markets, and ATM stations for cash. So it's, it's a sad conclusion. It's too bad, but 
I deal with reality. I don't have false assumptions to keep me happy. I don't have stupid mindset crap to frame my thoughts in order for me to live in a fantasy world. I live in the world of reality and I protect myself. And I urge other people to do the same. All right. It's a pleasure being on, Elijah. And uh, I hope to be on again. And thanks very much for having me. This video was brought to you by ReluctantPreppers.com. Click here to watch Reluctant Preppers' latest interview with Jay Taylor. Protect yourself from Washington and Wall Street. Thank you.